So John, we've seen a few players put through their paces uh, for testing, pre-season pre -season testing? Um, yeah, obviously we've, we've been at the uni for, for two days now, just doing sort of some testing. So they've done, today they've done the VO2 max testing, which is an aerobic test um, to basically, basically to failure. We then take blood lactates. After that, so obviously the lactic acid buildup that they have. Um, they've also done isokinetic testing, so the muscle testing. So we're looking at sort of power output between quad and hamstring ratio, and also looking whether the quads fatigue quicker than the hamstrings. Um, we've then also done the Y balance. We're looking at sort of symmetry in the body between left and right side. Uh, body fats, to see if anyone's putting extra yeah. excess over the summer, and speed over 30 meters through the, through the speed gates. Well, they didn't have a tool big enough to check my body fat, but uh, does it is that a real good uh, gauge of just to see how how they've been? Uh... I, th I think we're really we're trying to profile each player. You know, if if we can profile players from from pretty much head to toe, so that be biomechanically, sort of muscle size, uh, function, uh, endurance, and obviously look at aerobic capacity as well. We can sort of try and prevent things. Obviously, we, you know, last year we had some stage one, had a few injuries. So hopefully, doing this the more scientific-based testing like we've done today, we'll sort of hopefully identify things so we can then put individual programs into place to try and counteract where the lads may fatigue, especially during sort of big bouts of games and, and heavy training load. Right. So it's not a case of uh, training is one size fits all. There's obviously a lot of things in common, but then you do tailor it specifically to help each player. Yeah, I think it's, it's got to be specific. Um, obviously, you look at, you know, you look at players' size and players' build. You know, are you going to do the same work for say Tom Kennedy as you would do say Chris O'Grady? Mm. You know, the complete different specimens in body uh, positions and, and their sort of energy requirements or their requirements during a game or during a season for conditioning and fitness. You know, so the more specific and individualised for not only the player but the position, you know, the more better outcome you're going to get for a, from a performance and a sort of a preventative strategies as well. Yeah. There's some great facilities here. Obviously, we're at Bolton University's uh, sport and science area, so it's been great to be able to have the, the use of that. Yeah, um, you know, I can't, I can't sing the praises enough of the university for obviously bringing us down and letting us use the facilities. Um, as you've seen in your footage, the, the facilities are different class. Um, and the fact that we can actually use these facilities and have these facilities available is fantastic. Um, you know, the service that the staff at the university offers is superb. And I think the fact that they're all sports based and have worked within, you know, football, rugby, they understand the requirements that we need from a, a medical and fitness point of view. And they understand sort of where we're coming from, from a staff point of view and, and what we need. So to cater us has been fantastic. And again, I can't, can't thank the university enough for, for allowing us to use their facilities. It's not something that a lot of the equipment here is something that a club like Barnsley size or even bigger clubs could, could really justify having just standing alone for, for the amount of times it's used, could it? No, yeah, because obviously, as you can see around the, the lab, there's a lot of high-tech equipment. So you've got like the Alter Gs, you've got your Douglas bags, you've got your VO2 max testing. And the main one we've used today is the isokinetic. And it is a big cost, you know, and for us to be able to use them facilities, it, it's for for what we're providing for the universities, it's worth its weight in gold because we do get some really good data from it. We get some really good outcomes, and and it's good to gauge for the lads as well. And and it's it's good for the lads to use also. You know, we're not just getting them in. That they can see there's a reason behind the individual programs. There's a reason behind certain bits of, of training that we do because we've got the data from the university to back it up. Mm. So player player buying becomes then more important, and they sort of understand why we're doing it because they can see it in a data form rather than us saying you've got A, B, C wrong our potential, we've got data to back uh, also what we see from a physical point of view. So yeah, it's superb and again, the university and, and bringing us down has been fantastic. Of all the tests I've seen today, the VO2 max seem to be the most uh, punishing. What, what's uh, the benefit of that that you get? Um, the benefit from the VO2, obviously it's, it's a fatigue test. We're, we're taking the boys to, to their maximum capacity of, of, of fitness. Now, basically, we're looking also like we took with the bloods at the end of it. So we're looking how quick the lads fatigue. So obviously, it's, it's judging a score of, of six. Of basically, you get a score at the end of it. So if you're, we're looking for anything 60 or above, and obviously, a lot of the lads come in 
a lot higher than 60 on the final for two max scores, which sort of indicates they're at a very, very good fitness level coming back into pre-season. So they're not really having to play catch-up. So it's credit to the lads what they've done over the summer. Um, you know, they've looked after themselves and they are very much in good condition. There's been some really good scores this week um, from, the, from the testing that we've done. So you, you'll go home with some uh, data sheets from all the di different players. Pre-season starts in earnest on Monday. Does that mean a bit of homework for you as you look through all those figures? Um, yeah, they'll, they'll be obviously consultant with myself, uh, Guy Proctor and, and obviously Sedgy. Um, we've already got individual programmes in place at the moment from things that the lads have experienced previously from what we've seen and, and sort of injury data from, from last year. And then all we'll do now is we'll collate obviously all the information that we've got and then add to them individual programmes and in towards the, the training, training programme that we've actually got in place to then sort of improve the lads individually on their, on their weaknesses.